Hey, this is Dr. Joe Feuerstein. Thanks for tuning in again for the MD Minute. And today I want to talk about testosterone, a subject I talk about a lot, but this time really testosterone replacement, replacement in women. So we know already that there's a lot of argument and discussion, not only among doctors, but also in the lay press, about whether testosterone is something that should be given to men. My take on this is that if your testosterone is low and you have symptoms, you have fatigue, you have weight gain, you have prediabetes, high cholesterol, you have other types of medical and metabolic derangements, then testosterone replacement will be appropriate if you're a man. But today we're going to talk about women. So women have much less testosterone than, where, than men, and it is connected to sexual desire. The most recent study has just been published, coming out of researchers at the University of Colorado, and published in a journal of endocrinology, and it came out with this recommendation. In women, the only reason to give testosterone replacement is if your testosterone level is low and you actually have symptoms of what's called hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or to cut to the chaste, you have a low sex drive, a low libido. So if your testosterone is low and your libido is low, then there's a place for testosterone replacement. I use this all the time with many of my women, both pre- and post-menopause, giving them topical testosterone to their private parts weekly to elevate their testosterone and help with their libido. The journal also said specifically that there's no evidence that taking testosterone on women is going to have any help in terms of metabolic things, in terms of bone health, in terms of heart risk and, and, the, and the like, or weight changes. So we want to be using testosterone in women only for women who have a low testosterone and a low libido. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minutes. Thanks for tuning in.